All right, greetings, YouTube. Uh, we have the following question that comes from College Algebra. It comes from our text of section 1.3, question 53, from the back of that section. Uh, the question says to find the sum or difference, um, and this is basically adding and subtracting complex numbers. So let's get some graph paper. Okay, so I'd I like to start by getting a copy of the original. Um, so we have negative i times the square root of 5 minus 2 minus... 6 minus 3i times the square root of 5 minus 3 minus i square root of 5. All right? With something like this, um, so basically, it's a couple of things. So one, adding and subtracting radicals, they have to be, the, the radical itself has to be exactly the same in order to add and subtract them. It's kind of like combining like terms. So like our index and the radicand, they have to be the same. So notice that all of these radicals are all the square root of 5, right? So this one, this one, this one, right? Uh, but before we do that, let's do the following. So let's distribute, right? We can distribute these negatives. Multiplication over addition. Like that, okay? So if we do this, then we get the following. Uh, this negative i root 5 just comes down. The minus 2 comes down. That becomes a minus 6 plus 3i root 5 minus 3 plus i root 5. Mm -hmm. So then what we want to do, we're going to combine like terms essentially. So we have this negative 2, this 6, and this negative 3. Those are a set of like terms. So negative 2 plus negative 6 is negative 8. Plus negative 3 is negative 11. So this is going to be negative 11. Let's see. So we have i root 5. Okay. So let's let's put these let's put these other like terms side by side. So we have this guy, this guy, and this guy. Alright, I'll do style. We'll do them in blue. So they're all like terms. Let's just be a little consistent. Okay, I'm just going to put those side by side. So I have my minus i root 5 plus 3i root 5 and then plus i root 5, right? So notice all of these are times the square root of 5. So what I'm going to do is, is factor out the like term, right? So then the, the negative 11 comes down. Notice they all have... I mean, we can factor out a little bit more, but I'm going to factor out the square root of 5 from each of them. So if I do that, we'll get the following. Um, we have this negative i is the first one, plus 3i, plus i. And then, again, we factored out that square root of 5 from all of those. So now it should be clear as far as how to combine these. You have a negative i plus 3i plus i. So... Negative, negative 1 plus 3 is 2, plus 1, oh, I guess those two cancel, right? So, like, this should cancel that, and you can see the same thing here. That would be canceled by that, right? So it would just be the 3i root 5. I didn't see it until I spaced it out, but that's okay. So then we'll finish with negative 11 plus 3i times the square root of 5, okay? Uh, I'm not going to check this. It should be okay. I'm going to leave it. If uh, if you're one of my students and you're watching this and this is wrong, uh, if you correct it and bring it to my attention, um, I'll offer extra credit for that, right? So I'm not going to check it because, you know, I just want to kind of leave some opportunities for it, for these things to be wrong. Uh, but again, if you're one of my current students and if this is wrong and you check it and correct it, um, I offer extra credit for that. Maybe to like the first, I usually do about maybe three people that can do that. Because I don't want everybody just, one person gets it and distribute it out. Versus, okay, you get a few that get it, and then that's a little bit more reasonable. All right, hopefully um, this, uh, this, this helps, and hopefully it should be good.
But it's basically, long story short, adding radicals is like adding combining like terms, but the radicals have to be the exact same. Same index and same radicand. The index is like the, in, the little uh, subscript. It's not really showing here because it's square root, all right? So the index is, is, is usually there, right? But again, because it's a square root, It's not showing, but then the radicand is the part inside the radical. So to add and subtract radicals, they have to have the same index. In this case, it's square root, um, and the same radicand. In this case, it's five. So then it's like like terms, combine like terms, and go for it like that. All right. On that note, we're going to end the session here. Everyone, beautiful mind to another. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.